you've finally awoken. The nurses claim you slipped and hit your head, but I saw that beam of iridescent light radiating from the Kori tree. A mere handful of hours pass and then you show up unconscious on the steps of the castle. I'm not one to disregard such events as coincidence. Nothing to say about that, hmm? What strange magic have you been meddling in, little one? Damn it. I'll deal with you later. A little worm emerges into the daylight. No doubt Yuzira is already playing the Inquisitor, but I honestly couldn't care less about how you've been spending your worthless time. Azriel. Dead. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. The boy will show up before- Let me scurry along before I turn you into mincemeat. What do you want, child? Can't you see how busy I am? I heard you suffered a small accident. Seems you are fine now. Oh, Lucian, yes. Well, he was a traitor who plotted to overthrow me. You can trust your brothers as far as you can throw them. Imprisoned is a strong word. I'm keeping him under strict supervision in the captivity block. Do not go near him under any circumstance. Do you hear me? I will not have him spreading his poison to you, too. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. To be honest, I, I thought I was alone in this chamber. Funny how when one's mind wanders, it can leave them so unaware of their surroundings. You are one of the Blackhearts, yes? I take it you are Asriel's sibling. I'm Abigail. I was close with Asriel before his passing. He was really the only person who treated me like a friend. Huh. You probably don't care about that, do you? All you see is some poor lost girl who doesn't know what she's doing with her life. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Oh, you really mean it. Thank you. Perhaps Azriel isn't the only black heart who cares for anything but themselves. Your kind spirit gives me hope for the future of your family and the kingdom. So I thought. 